Let's deep dive into Web3Auth's key management infrastructure. The user's private key is split into multiple shares. The first share is mapped to the socials, be it Google, Twitter, Facebook, or even your own authentication. The second share of the key is stored on the user's device. And the third share can be a backup share that the user can download or send it to an alternate email address. Or you could also ask a security question to the user that can become a third share of the private key. The splitting is done in a two by three setup. That is a user need two shares out of these three to reconstruct the entire private key. We then go a step ahead and split the social login share into nine more shares. And these nine shares are held by nine nodes run by ecosystem stakeholders such as Binance, Ethereum naming servers, Scale, we run one of the nodes, Etherscan, Ontology, Zilliqa, Matic, Tendermint. All these nine nodes hold the nine shares of the OAuth share. And when the user is trying to log in, we fetch five out of these nine, reconstruct the social login share, and combine this with any of the other two shares to reconstruct the entire private key. That's how the private key itself is not stored anywhere, but it just gets split and reconstructed on the front end. Technically, this could also be two by N, that is, there can be N number of shares. You know, here there could be a mobile share, it can be a device three and so on. And at any point of time, the user always needs two out of these N to reconstruct the private key. 